all set up. I'll get this a little closer. I got myself my uh, raspberry sour beer. Very nice. <laughs> with a can of fucking uh, Coors Light to chase it down with after. And I got myself Budweiser, so it's not really beer at all. Liquid uh, carbonated urine. Kind of Coors Light as well. Yeah. Um. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a song. What do I want to play tonight? Hmm. What's this? Yeah, that'll do. Thursday. It's June 27, 2019, and I'm Eric, talking at you as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where the whole thing about keeping your friends close and your enemies closer is kind of stupid, because I'm getting really sick of hanging out with my enemies, and none of my friends will talk to me now. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, it's always been a very strange statement. <laughs> it's, I don't have any friends, that's a lie. How's it going tonight, Gord? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm doing good, my friend. How you doing? I'm okay. Um, right. It was a good day. I mean, not very. I didn't get a lot done today, um, but it was definitely an NMFA day. So uh, we'll take that as we take them. Hey, the the this new system of of NMFA for the summer is working out way way better than FFIO did last year. I'm a big fan of this new system I've come up with. Uh, FFIO. Yeah, remember FFIO last year? It was fucking figure it out. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> NMFA I'm, is far better. I'm so bad with acronyms. I'm terrible. Yeah, the NMFA, this is going to be all summer, and I fully um, encourage people to participate in making you, you have a NMFA summer and get shit done. Um. And for anyone who wasn't listening last night, that's no more fucking around. Excellent. And that is awesome. Did you did you hear Mr. Burns there? You you get a, a rare chance tonight to hear our sound effects. Excellent. I barely heard. Well, that's because you keep talking every time I play it. Uh, <laughs> that is a problem. Um. Uh. So. Anyway, welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, just trying to get back into the groove of things because we had a long time off, and and uh, it's it's been a little of an adjustment for me to get back into it. It's slow going, but um, glad to be back. I haven't had a chance to check our stats from last night's episode, but hopefully they're as good as we want them to be. Um, I haven't heard much. I did miss uh, an interview I had today that I forgot about because I was at that seminar, and I missed uh, an interview with Radio Public about uh, taking over our website for us. Um, so I, I'm trying to reschedule that, but there's, there's a possibility that Radio Public might start uh, managing the website, and then I don't have to, and that would be ideal. But in the meantime, check it out, people, at It's uh, It's a good, it's a hoot. And you can go there for our uh, details on our new logo contest for you guys. You're going to be choosing our logo and or designing it yourself. And Gord, later on tonight, is going to announce the grand prize we're giving out for the winning logo. Um, in my opinion, the contest has already won, but uh, we'll see. The last one took a big turn right at the end there. We had like one entry for six months, and then right at the end we had like 20. So never know what's going to happen. Um, NMFA, because everything else is a fucking waste of time. I like that. <laughs> That's the logo that I came up with. The slogan for it. That'll work. NMFA technology. Because everything else is a fucking waste of time. 
That should be our slogan when we run in October for the election. Eric and Gord. Everyone else is a fucking waste of time. <laughs> and I bet you everybody would agree. <laughs> right? That's a good slogan. I might. I'm writing that shit down. Where is a pen? Okay, so we'll just get right into it, kids. And if uh, you want to join in on all the fun, you can uh, always uh, call or text right now, 604-655-9630. Text preferably because I got Gord on the phone. But uh, <laughs> uh, you can also send your emails in to eric at ericandgord.com or gord at ericandgord.com if you'd rather talk to him directly. Um, or Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the usual suspects. Um, just... Fucking throw us on Google somewhere. I'll find you. I'm always looking. Um, where am I? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I can't find my page. Ha! There we go. What are we talking about? Yes! Of course. Excellent. It... Less than 24 hours after my big um, love affair with China episode, fucking China goes and buzzes a Canadian warship. Oh, really? Yeah, in the South China Sea, or sorry, the East China Sea, two Chinese fighter jets buzzed a Canadian warship. And it was uh, seen to be um, a very obvious display of aggression. They were more aggressive than they normally are against the Canadians. Uh, apparently it was a ret- retaliation, um, a protest for the Huawei lady. Wow, they're really taking this shit to heart. So, uh, there, there I go. I go, I spent, I, I spent a whole night saying, China, I love you, you, maybe you're not so bad, and then you go and fuck with my Navy. Uh, they've also suspended all imports of Canadian meat products. Um. Yes, they have. As a, as a way of protesting Huawei lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't believe how far this thing is going. I think at this point, just fucking let her go. If we're not going to give her to the states, we should let her go, or yeah. or be done with it. Uh, they still have those why two. Haven't, why haven't we given her to the states? What the fuck's going on with that? They demanded that we fucking arrest her. We should have been handed her over within a week. I I think my my guess would be they're trying to see the legal logistics of not. Um, trying to see what the implications are if, if they don't it, it sets an ugly precedent for extradition treaties if they don't hand her over but then again we can also weigh it against uh it, whether it's against her her uh civil right uh um human rights if if we do like we won't extradite someone if we think they're we're they're gonna get harmed when they get there but we know she's not gonna get fucking harmed we don't know shit with that freak yeah, in that country yeah, what are they gonna fucking water border she's, i mean come on they might this, no, we no. Don't. I would imagine that's that's why we're holding her right now. We just don't know. And she's right. She's right down the street from me. She's in Shaughnessy. Can, she's in a fifteen million dollar nurse. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's why they moved her because the press kept bugging her. Uh, I should see though. They moved her from her eight million dollar mansion. She was in house arrest. Too. She had to buy a fifteen million dollar mansion to move into. That house rest must really be terrible in, a, in your fifteen million dollar mansion. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, want to. Fucking life you got, bitch. She doesn't want to go to the states at all. She's the head of the biggest cell phone company we've ever had in Canada. You live in her fifteen million dollar house arrest mansion. Fuck, she's got it made. Why are they? They should be. Their fighter jets should be flying over, handing us money. Yeah, Not flying exactly. over, fucking with my navy. Fuck you, China. Bite my shiny metal ass. Um, where am I? Democratic televised debate happened last night. Did you catch any of that, Gord? I think we were on the air for the whole of it. Ten uh, no, but I did catch, uh, there is one thing about that I would love to discuss, because uh, the, uh, uh, the Republicans are having a field day just picking them all apart for just how fucking stupid they all are. Anybody who had better things to do, which is everybody, uh, 10 out of the 25 Democratic hopefuls uh, were on a televised debate last night. The first of way too many, in my opinion. They go on forever in the States. Uh, but 10, 10 candidates hoping to be your next Democratic candidate for president were on TV. Uh, there's the dude, what's, I don't remember any of their names now, of course not. Uh, no, none of them matter anyways. The dude from uh, Ohio, I think. 
And and Bill uh, Blasio from from New Jersey, he's trying again. Uh, my, they're gonna. My th- favorite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me do the boring stuff, then we'll do your good stuff. Because uh, they all said uh, the same fucking thing, obviously, and they all said exactly it's the same crap they say all the time. They're gonna they're gonna lighten up on asylum seekers. You know, get get rid of all this illegal alien bullshit that Trump brought in. Um, uh, climate climate change policy that's gonna make it the greenest country. Um, unless you got a shit ton of spray paint, you're not making America the greenest country anytime soon. Uh, oh, and this is, I love this. They're going to put an end to school shootings. Fuck off. Like, yeah, because we have so many of them. Well, we don't, but in the States, they're, uh, they're, yeah. they're more common than hot lunches. Yeah, um, no, they, no, they won't. They're going to make it work. Well, the, the, you can't. You Stop guns, you fucking, you can't, you can't keep having the same debate. You have to get rid of the NRA, or school shootings are going to keep happening. You, the NRA is stupid and evil. Plain and simple. It's not even, you can't even blame the NRA. The simple blame for this is, where are the kids getting the gun? Walmart. No, 99% of the time they're getting them from their fucking parents' house. Oh, yeah, of course. Which means their parents are illegally storing them. There's the problem. Well, you don't uh, need to take the guns away, you need to store the problem when you're not home. It's not just storing it. You need to be stored away. But there's a town in the States where it's illegal not to have a gun. You can't expect things to be uh, all done properly. There, That's true. There's, uh, I forget what the town is. But it's illegal not to have a gun. Um, you, know, you can't expect it. Even if they're legal, they're gonna. someone's going to get shot with them. That's what happens. Yeah. Um, it's true. Get rid of them. Uh, hunting is not a thing that needs to happen anymore. Uh, and sorry, hunters, I know you're not going to like this. My own brother's not going to like this because he likes hunting, but it's not something that needs to happen. It's stupid. You got virtual reality. You got, uh, you, you can have a camera shaped like a gun and run around in the woods and not kill things. Um, you don't need a gun. Nobody needs a gun anymore. If you're not in the army or a cop, you don't need a gun. We have, there's enough airsoft guns that are realistic enough. You can go have fun with those and get your jollies off and pretend you're hunting. You don't need to kill them. I, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on what your stance is. My stance disarm is... Disarm the public, but arm the criminals. That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying disarm everybody. You can't disarm. That's impossible. You can't disarm criminals. You can just you get, get rid of guns. Family. Stop getting... No, you can't. Don't let guns they in the can. country. That's not... Even if it doesn't matter. It's, it's like saying you're going to stop heroin. You, you can't do it. Well, they don't want to stop the heroin. Only, well, that's just it, though. You can't, if you disarm the population entirely, if you say that, that you're not allowed any form of any gun whatsoever, you will see crime rise I know. so dramatically. It's the stupid argument. If you got rid of all the guns, uh, who would run the country tomorrow? The, no. the one guy with a fucking gun. Yeah, um, exactly. But I think you would make a good point by making them illegal. If not well, for use in the military. And it's got to be registered. It's really accessible. Um, you can't, like, pretty much only know, you can't even really own a handgun in Canada. No, I believe it, the only legal ones are, well, I think people can. Uh, but they have I, to be stored at a gun place, or they have to be locked up in a certain thing. They can't be used under any conditions unless it's used at a shooting range. Yeah, I it's think. It has to be stayed in a lockbox until you get to the gun range. I, I think what it is, you're allowed to own restricted weapons as long as you don't ever touch them or look at them. Yeah, <laughs> they can be. You, of it, that's fine. They have to be buried 17 feet in your backyard, and uh, <laughs> you you have to call Hydro One 24 hours in advance before you uh, dig anywhere within a mile of them. <laughs> but you can have own as many as you want. <laughs> But each one needs its own separate 17 foot hole. So you have to have uh, 28 still, acres. I still say that Chris Rock still has the best solution. Absolutely. 100%. You know what? His thing, it, it's it's a joke, but it's actually brilliant. Yeah. It's, uh, Charge the, $1,000 a round. Yep. Yeah. There's no innocent bystanders when bullets are $5,000. That's it. And it's so true. Oh, man. Well, what a that guy do someone just spent like $75,000 on him. 
I, I 